I'm not super comfortable with the word love. Ask my wife how difficult it was for me the first time I told her that I loved her. I already knew I was gonna marry her and we had talked about that and we might have even been already setting a date or at least thinking about when exactly that would be. But I hadn't said I love you yet and it was so difficult for me. Actually don't ask her because it's a really embarrassing story. I don't know if it's a guy thing, I don't know if it's the society or whatever, but I have a hard time with the word love. And in the church, that word is thrown around all the time, which is great. Love is good. Um, maybe thrown around a little too much because like anything, if it's too much, then sometimes it loses its meaning because people are like, oh yeah, I love you. I love you. I love this. I love that. I love peanut butter. I love socks. I love warm weather. I love the beach. Whatever it is, it's, sometimes it's like, do you really? Does it really matter? Does, do you really love me? Do you know me? So I'm not super comfortable with that word and talking about love. Growing up in the church, there was always this idea of how much you love God and do you love Jesus? And you sing songs about how much I love God and I love you, Lord. And if I can be honest with you, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable because I question myself, how much do you really love God? And maybe I'm the only one that, that's ever thought this, then I guess this video doesn't really apply to a lot of people. Um, if you're watching this and you're like, what, that's crazy, then just pray for me. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've never been there, then just pray for me. But I found myself wondering sometimes, how much do I really love God? And I don't even like saying that, it sounds bad. Um, I hope I'm not the only one that's been there. But I was thinking about this the other day. And I was like, God, honestly, I don't really know what that means. How much do I love God? Do I love God enough? And I feel like God just told me, don't worry about it. I love you enough. And he said, your relationship with God doesn't really have much to do with how much you love him. It has everything to do with how much he loves you. Maybe you don't understand love enough. Maybe you've been hurt so much by someone or something in the past that it's hard for you to, to say that you love another person, let alone God that you can't see. But becoming a Christian wasn't about discovering a love for God. Becoming a Christian was about understanding and recognizing that God loved me so much that he sent his son to die for me. And I, I, I'm not saying that I fully understand the love of God, because quite frankly, I don't think anybody ever can because his love is so deep and his love is so unconditional. Maybe you've heard it said before and maybe you've heard it so many times that it's become cliche, but I love the saying, God could never love you more than he loves you right now. And he could never love you any less than he loves you right now. There's nothing you can do to earn God's love. And there's nothing you can do to stop God's love. Right in the middle of the worst sin you could possibly commit, God still loves you. He might not love what you're doing, but he loves you. And he fully loves you. An unconditional love that you could never un fully understand. But that's what Christianity is about. It's not about do I love God enough to earn salvation? It's just about accepting that he loves me. And that's not easy because I know me. I know my flaws. I know my weaknesses. You know you. You know your flaws and your weaknesses. So it might be hard for you to understand that God loves you, but he does. I feel like I've gotten a little bit more of an understanding of what that love looks like since I've been married. If you don't know my wife, she's way out of my league. She's gorgeous. I sometimes find myself thinking, man, can she really love me? Can this beautiful woman really share the same affection for me that I share for her? But I think understanding that love that she has for me helps me a little bit to understand the love that God has. The love of God is amazing. And 
I just want to encourage any of you, in case you like me, sometimes doubt your own love for God. If it's awkward for you to say, I love you to God, just understand that God loves you regardless. If you read God's word and spend time with him, I believe your love for him will grow, but don't focus on how much you love him. That's not nearly as important as how much he loves you.